What's going on you guys, it's your boy JMO coming back at it again with another episode of Let's Get Our Games Back Up and Running and Stop the Delays. So as you guys can see, Script Hook B has dropped a new release, dropped today, June 15, 2023, uh, version 1.0.2944 this is the one that we need you guys to go ahead and get our games back up and running the way that we like to have it so if you guys haven't done so already go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video because i know you guys need to see this just like i need to see it all right you guys so of course the links for all these websites are going to be in the description below and again make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay updated with the most recent videos that i post to show how to get your games back the way that we like to have them so if you haven't done so already make sure you go ahead and hit that download button on the script hook b to get that version 1.0.2944 and then what we're going to do is get another important file as we already know with every update for the script hook v we need to update our game config so we're going to go ahead and get that game config version 31 i believe it is yep v31 and then we're going to go ahead and download that file as well once you have both of these files downloaded, you guys already know the deal. So what we're going to have to do, open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Once we're in our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, this is our script hook folder. The two main files that we're going to drag from our script hook folder or our script hook update would be the den put 8 file and the script hook v file. So what we're going to do, copy both of these into our grant the auto main directory folder once we do so we can go ahead and replace the files that are already in there i've already done so so i'm not going to do that again but once again we're going to drag the den put 8 and the script put b files over into our grant the auto main directory after we do that our next file as i was mentioning before would be our game config so our game config is going to be this folder right here the grant the auto version 31 game config so what we're going to do is drag this folder we can drag this folder onto our desktop. Once we drag that folder onto our desktop, we are going to then open up our open IV. You already know the deal. Once we open up the open IV, we're gonna turn that edit mode on, select yes, and we're gonna open up our mods folder, update, update RPF, common, data, and this is the folder where we're going to add our most updated game config. The best way to do so would be clicking that add new file button right here. And then we can go to our desktop or wherever you drag that folder into and then you'll be able to select that grand theft auto game config that we had just dragged over so if you have less mods you can use the folder for less mods for more mods of course this is the one that you want to use and i started off with the 05x traffic and 05x pedestrian so if you would like to mess around with it you're more than welcome to but that's what i started off with and it's making my game run just the way that i like it so once you've done that again you want to drop your game config and then also if you have any updated downloadable contents that you put on your downloadable content list you can go ahead and drop the updated downloadable content list in there as well and with that being said we can go ahead and turn that edit mode off and start our game and see what our results bring us All right, that's just the things that we like to see, you guys. Um, our game is obviously starting up the way that we like it, so let's go ahead and enter story mode and see what our results bring us to. All right, you guys, as y'all can see, we got the game back up and running just the way that we like to have it, man. And as y'all already know, we got the, the toys outside, the SVJ, uh, that new Lamborghini, I believe it's called the Revoluto. And then, of course, we got the Hellcat Durango out here, man. So with that being said, again, I truly appreciate everybody for the likes, comments, and support. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay updated with the most recent game config and script hook v updated videos man so with that being said y'all don't gotta go home but y'all gotta get up out of here man again i truly appreciate everybody and i'll catch y'all in the next video